Cool. Hi. Hey, what's going on? I'm not at home. I am in New York right now. That was a weird intro. Anyway, <laughs> hey guys. Uh, so today I am with a good friend of mine. If you'd like to introduce yourself. My name is Christina. Beauty Tricky on Boom. YouTube. Subscribe Boom. to me. Promo. Already doing Boom. the channel's promos. <laughs> Already. So I came up with an idea for a video called How to Date, which is like the most general video I think I've ever come up with for a title. But I feel like what we would do is we would answer basically a bunch of different questions about dating advice, and we would also have different like perspectives, gender perspectives. I'm so I, 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 <laughs> Ashley watches this video. Ashley, I love you. I'm Ashley, sorry. I watched gender per, per, gender perspective before I even met you. Oh really? I didn't tell you that. I, well, I used to watch it on Ashley's channel, and I remember you being in them, and then when I met you, I thought you looked familiar, not just from your YouTube videos, and then I realized it's from gender right. perspectives. Well, we're going to link everything in the Boom. description. But basically, I'm on my phone right now, and I have a bunch of questions I had you guys ask me on Snapchat. Boom. Snapchat. I'm going to put it on your face. It's on her face. But anyway, with that being said, we're going to jump right into these questions. So the first one, okay, this is the question. You can tell me what you do, because this is something yeah. girls have to do. How do you find out... If a guy that you like has a girlfriend, how do you figure that out? So, how to find out if they have a girlfriend? Um, normally, what I'll do is I'll stalk their social media, which sounds weird, but don't lie, everybody does it. Everybody yeah. does it. It's like you ask for dating, you know? We all say yeah. it's weird, but yeah. uh, so you, so you stalk them on social media essentially. I, I think everyone yeah. does that. Every stalks, you know, the person that they're into on social media and stuff like that. Yeah. It's basically like, you know, you can, there's the people that go like really in depth and then there's the person that just like, you know, looks at like their recent tweets and recent pictures. Mm -hmm. I mean, if odds are if they have pictures up with a girl like multiple times, she could be potential yeah. bae. Um, what's it called? If they have like the captions, they have like, you know, the date in their bio and all yeah. that stuff. And, and like, here's another thing. If they don't have pictures of a girl in any of their Instagram photos or a date or anything that shows they have a girlfriend and they have one, that's, that's, that's actually kind of bad. That's actually yeah. bad. So you probably don't even want to, you just want to assume they're single regardless because if they're yeah. not, you don't, Bad relationship, okay? I, I, oh yeah, obviously. Yeah. I feel like, as a girl, if I was in a relationship with a guy and he wasn't posting pictures of me on Instagram and Twitter, I feel like he he's would be high, like almost... He's not proud of you. Yeah, he's not proud of me or like almost embarrassed to show me off. In the end, with like this question specifically, if you just like look at their social media and stuff and you realize that there's like nothing with like another girl or another guy in it or anything like That's, that, you know, that they could potentially be dating, yeah. then odds are they're single. Yeah. And if they're not single and they still don't have pictures with them, then that's a little messed up. I agree. See, I do, you know, okay, so that's like a really quick way. I like that way. What I do is when I'm talking to them, I just assume that they do, that they are in a relationship or I assume, I'll assume either way. I'll either assume they're single or I'll assume they have someone who they're dating. And then when you make those assumptions, like verbally, eventually they're going to either correct you or they're not going to correct you. And then that's kind of how you low key figure it out. So that works as well. So there you go. You have two different ways. How to get a guy to notice you. I get this question so much. Okay. Honestly, maybe it just like, you can tell by my personality, but I'm pretty outgoing. Like I can go to oh an God. Applebee's and I will hear last a song. night. Yo, literally. literally. <laughs> she, would, she brings me to an Applebee's and like this song comes on and like, I'm trying to figure out, I was asking like everyone around me and we got like, the, I had like this big group conversation, <laughs> like 10 people about this song that none of them even, even knew. Knew, none of them even knew it. And I was just like, I was just outgoing and I was able to talk to all these people. And the thing is, when I project my voice and I talk to one person or two people, especially if they're of the opposite sex, other people of the opposite sex also notice them talking to them and it, that's how you get them to notice you. Now, yeah. if you're being cool or annoying, you have to be aware of that because if you're just being yeah. annoying, you're going to get them to notice you but not in a positive way. Mm. But if you're talking to a lot of people of the opposite sex, like if you're, if you're a girl talking to a lot of guys, other guys will notice that and they will notice you. And if you're giving a good impression, I think you're 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 gonna be you're gonna be really well off. Another way to look at it too is if you are confident in yourself because yeah. I feel like a lot of people like a person of a different gender or same gender, whatever you prefer. Um, I feel like they really like a person that is confident in themselves because you know you're confident in yourself, Definitely. you're able to walk around, be like, hell yeah, this is who I am and everything like that, mm -hmm. you know. I feel like if you're like more shy, you're not that confident in yourself, you're just like and stuff like that. I feel like it might be like, hand. like if you're yeah. confident and outgoing, like if you have both. Oh yeah, if you have both, then that is the best. Yeah. Confidence in general is yeah. just like a big that's factor. A, that's an attraction for me. Yeah, like, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, like if I saw a guy and he was just very confident in himself, there's a difference between confident and cocky. Like confident is just like you know, like you got an accomplishment done or something like that, you know, and you're like really proud of it and yeah. stuff. Cocky is like you know, you get an accomplishment done, but you just keep on just like it's like almost like 
annoying, like an annoying version of confidence. So mm -hmm. you gotta make sure that you're not cocky yeah. of yourself. But yeah. uh, like, if I were to see a guy and he was like all confident and stuff, I'd be like, you know, like you know, I would choose that guy over like the little shy and quiet yeah. guy. Would you take cocky or shy? A mm -hmm. little cocky or a little shy? What What's a better? Huh. Mm, I don't know. The yeah. only problem with being shy is that if you're shy, you're not gonna get the opportunity to be noticed. If you're cocky, confident, like if you're too extreme on that side, then at least they will notice yeah. you. And the best way to figure out the perfect level of outgoingness and, co and confidence is to go to the extreme of either side and see where it doesn't work anymore so that you can find the perfect middle ground. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes complete sense. There you go. The next one is how to keep a conversation flowing. So essentially, this is what I always do. This is what I do in my general li life every single day because it's easy, it's who I am, it just makes sense to me. I love talking about things that I love talking yeah. about. If you, like, we can talk about YouTube, YouTube for, for hours. It's, it's so, it doesn't take any effort to keep that kind of conversation mm -hmm. flowing. It's just like such an easy thing because like, you know, you'd be talking to somebody and then they'll see like, you know, you give somebody your Instagram and then they'll see like, you know, you'll have the link in your bio, they mm -hmm. go to your channel and it's like, oh, so they have a YouTube. You start talking to that person, the person's like, yeah. oh, I realized that you have a YouTube channel. And then just after that, just everything just skyrockets because there are so many different categories mm -hmm. in the YouTube community that you could talk about, you mm -hmm. know, the business behind it, making videos, editing videos, that one little question, that one thing that they noticed about you that you know you made very prominent just yeah. leads into a bunch of other things. Yeah, and you know what it comes down to? Um, for us it's YouTube because that makes us very unique, right? Yeah. So we love talking about YouTube. Find something unique about yourself that you love and ma maximize yeah. on it. Like for us, we maximize on YouTube. So like if you love like cheerleading, for example, if you love some sort of sport or hobby and you make that your life and you can talk about that and you t and like someone knows about that, if you can talk about that forever, you don't even need the conversation to be flowing two ways because you can, whenever they're not talking, you, you it's just... very easy for you to flow and then you can say something that eventually they will be able to relate to and then they can like contribute to the conversation and that's how yeah. you keep it flowing in a comfortable way. So the next one is how to uh, make a good impression. Honestly, if we're being real, I feel like when it comes to like a first impression, like, before they get to know you, the only thing they can really look at is your looks. Yeah, is your looks. Honestly, there's two different ways of making a good first impression, really. Um, there's like the ones where, you know, you look at a person just like, if I were to not know who Tom was, like, whatsoever, I just were to look at him, and like, I saw he's like, very impression. like, yeah, I'd be like, you know, like, he's a clean cut guy, he seems like a good guy, and like, all that type of stuff. Somebody else, like, if you see a girl walking around with Louboutins, you'd be like, she's rich. Yeah. Meanwhile, maybe they were like given to her as like a gift yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So it's like. And what I was gonna say about like looks, the only thing I wanna say is that what it comes down to is you can't control what you look yeah. like up to a certain extent. I mean, you can wear makeup, you can work out, you can do all these things. There's an acronym that someone told me once, and I freaking love it because people complain about like their looks and they blame it for like why they can't like do certain yeah. things. It's not, it's only a limitation if you make it one. So what it comes down to is, this acronym is WINS, it stands for workout, okay, so go to the gym, get in shape, image, so, you know, have a nice style, have like a good, good clean haircut, you know, look good, have your image in, intact, nutrition, so eat healthy, yeah. you know, again, your health. Your health is so important when it comes to your first impression. Mm -hmm. And the S stands for shut the hell up, basically. Mm -hmm. Because after you do everything you can for your looks, complaining isn't gonna get you anywhere. It's not gonna, no, it's not gonna get you anywhere. Yeah. So when you wanna make that good impression, um, as far as your physical looks, workout, image, nutrition, and then just be who you naturally are, essentially. I don't know, do you yeah. have anything to add on to that? You can make a good first impression on somebody if you already had a good first impression on somebody else. Mm -hmm. Like, say you're trying to make a good first impression on like, one of your friend's friends, mm -hmm. and so your friend knows who you are, they're like, oh yeah, she's a total sweetheart, she's great, she's pretty, and all that stuff. They tell that to the person you want to make the good first impression on, they're already going to start making assumptions about you that are positive in the first place. Yeah. They don't even have to see you to know that, and then when they see you, you know, they can add on to that and everything. But that's also another thing, it's like getting like a second hand yeah. first impression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's like really like, like, low key, that's like black ops level, like getting, yeah. like getting a good impression, you know what I mean? Because you're helping, you're being, first of all, you're being a nice person to yeah. other people. You know what I mean? And then like, you're doing so many good things, people are gonna, that's gonna spread. This is, you're gonna have to help me out with this one. How to cut ties with a clingy guy. You probably yeah. deal with this more okay. than me. Yeah, okay. 
So <laughs> as mean, well, it's not really mean. It's not like you're just being like, you know, ignoring them straight up. And normally if there's a guy that's talking to me, is clingy, I don't want to talk to him. I just make make it seem like I'm always busy. That's what I do. Like, you know, they'll be like trying to talk to me. I'll be like, oh, sorry, I got to talk to you later. I got to film a video. I got to go edit a video. I am going out with my friends, going out with my family. I'm going to go visit my friends. Like, something that makes you seem busy 24-7. Mm. You know, because, like, I think YouTube is, like, a good excuse to be. Even if you're not doing YouTube, be like, oh, I'm going to see my friends. I'm going to see my family. I got to yeah. go to work. You know, like, all these different things. And then eventually over time they'll realize, like, listen, she's, like, she's so busy. She's always out, you know. And then they'll realize, you oh, know, like, maybe, like, at the hint, like, you know, oh, she doesn't really want to talk to me. You can even so, make it, like, obviously, like, you're not busy, but saying you are. Like, kind of get the point across even better. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, I'm busy. I got to, you know, walk my goldfish you know what yeah, I mean just say yeah. shit like that and they're like wait a second that's how you can like kind of like explain to them like I'm not interested do your thing but the thing is I feel like 10% of guys will never get the hint or they'll be so obsessed yeah. because they'll put so much effort into it that they have Hard to make nothing. it work yeah. and you can keep saying you're busy but it won't work at some point so then and that's when coming yeah, you, being up front comes you have in. to be exactly you have to be complete you, you, there comes a point where it's like look I'm a really busy person even if you're not, just say you're busy. Yeah. I'm a busy person. I'm really not attracted to you in that way. You're great, but I'm gonna have to ask you to stop texting me, mm. please. And if you like, you have to, you have to really do. You really have to say like, please stop texting me. You have to literally tell them straight up to stop doing the thing they're doing. Because if you don't say it directly after a certain point, being nice doesn't work, mm. and you have to try a different route. Otherwise, it's just gonna get. It's just gonna be a cycle. Yeah. I feel like also maybe if you tell them like you're texting me too much, could you check? Could you text me less? I feel like even if you just say that, if you're not like stop texting me like immediately, if you just tell them like you're texting me too much, text me less. I feel like even like that's like if you're in a relationship and they say that you want to slow down, they don't actually want to slow down. Normally, it's an easy way to say I don't think I want to be with you anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's like the same thing with like cutting ties with a clingy guy. If he's really clingy and then you're just like listen, you gotta stop talking to me. Like you gotta talk to me less. Then it's kind of like maybe they'll get the hint that way. I mean, if they still don't get the hint, then just be like, yo, like, just yeah. cut it off. Absolutely. But, you know, so. Yeah. Leave a comment down below what you guys, like, how you guys handle that. Yeah. I'm, really, I'm really interested to hear that in the comments. Um, how to get a guy to text you. Um, first of all, I, like, you should be able to just, like, text and not try and force this. Because if you're forcing it, if you're, if you're, like, triple, quadruple texting him, which I will do sometimes. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I do not care. I don't care I really at don't. all either. So don't be self-conscious about that because, mm -hmm. I mean, you're only going to... The answer is going to be blank until you send something, more than likely, yeah. if they're not responding to your text. But um, as far as what I do, I have one little trick that I'll do sometimes, and I like to get their opinion on certain... <laughs> I just dropped my phone. One thing that I will do that's, like, a little trick is um, if I want someone to respond... I'll try and get their opinion on something. So, like, I'll like take like two selfies, right? That I'll post on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, Christina's face again, boom. But I'll take like two selfies, right? They'll be like slightly different. And then I'll send both pictures to someone. And the reason I send two photos is because it'll block out all the text from before so it won't look like a bunch of mm. text messages from me. It'll be yeah. two pictures to block out the rest. So I do that on purpose. I'll send two photos. And then I'll say at the bottom, which one should I post on Instagram? I feel like also, I feel like if somebody of the opposite sex specifically, like there's nothing wrong with the same sex, but if there's like somebody with the opposite sex, like if there was a guy that came to me and he's like, which one should I post on Instagram? I'd be like... I'd be like, hell yeah, I would help him out and stuff like right. that. And I feel like if there's like a girl sending pictures to guys, which one should I put on Instagram? You know, the guy gets to see this girl, attractive, not, it doesn't mm -hmm. really matter, but mm -hmm. still it's something. So it's like, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, people love helping out with opinions. Mm -hmm. That's, that's yeah. one major thing. Yeah. And also if you look really good in the photos, by yeah. the way, like you, you, you kind of giving them a reason. You're like, oh wait, this person's hot. Let's talk to them. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Another way to, you know, lead into that and everything like that, you know, getting them to text you back is ask them questions about themselves because people love to talk about themselves. I know mm -hmm. somebody comes to me and they're just like, so like, what are your hobbies? What do you like doing? Or like somebody mm -hmm. asked me about like my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. That is something that's like immediately. I can't I not reply. respond to that. Like, yeah. It's so much like that's like when you're talking about things that I want to talk about, especially if it's about me, like I'm so yeah. much more, even if I don't like you, I'm like, well, I can answer that. 
Yeah, I feel like it's just there. like yeah, I feel like it's just like human nature to just like answer things about yourself. Like if somebody's talking to you, wants to know more about you, you will gladly tell them more about you because you know that it makes you seem like more yeah. interesting Absolutely. or like whatever you want to call it. So it's just like in human nature that if somebody were to ask you a question about yourself, you'd be like, oh, well that's about me, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. answer it. So that's how like we typically handle these. I hope you guys like these questions, by the way. If you do, you know, give this video a thumbs up down below. Let me know so we can like do do more videos like yeah. this in the future. Also, by the way, we. Did a video on Chicky's channel, uh, beauty youtube.com slash beauty chicky. I'll have it all linked in the description down below so you can check it out. Her video sure. is like three times as long as this yeah, one. So if you you guys like this, long videos, my channel is where to be. Long as hell. If this is your first time watching one of my videos and you don't hate our faces, feel free to subscribe because I make videos like this every single Monday. And guys, that's really all that we have got to say on it. Yeah, and thanks for watching. It. And I guess I'll see you guys on her channel or next Monday. Peace. Bye. <laughs>